you look at people growing up in our neighborhood, I grew up in the 90s section of Brooklyn. People was getting shot literally every night in the 1980s and the early 90s. Literally every night people were getting murdered. Going to sleep with uh, gunshots. I had my mother tell them about how I used to have to go to sleep and it was always gunshots going off. Half of those people that were shooting guns were shooting kids by accident because they didn't know how to use a firearm uh, properly. I have two friends that I know personally that was mishandling a firearm and shot themselves. One shot and then ricocheted off the balcony, hit him in the chest. Another one, um, you know, decided to take one of our friend's guns when we was little, uh, not little, but teenagers. He stole one of my friend's guns and he go back home and playing with it, shot himself in the foot. You know, part of my book, the book Baby Bye, that's what it's all about, is the misuse of, uh, of guns. And I'm not just plugging it, but that's just straight up what it is. It's about uh, a little kid at the end of it, you find it's about um, the misuse and mishandling of a firearm that leads to, you know, an untimely death. And, and, and the last thing too, it, it humbles you to walk around and carry, you know, because if you carry, I have I have a pistol on me. I've been in situations where I had a dude walk across, I stopped short, he walked across the front of my car, and he started really like going mouth and off, like all in front of my car, mouth and off, right? And um, I just sat there calmly and looked at him because I understood the situation was gonna be really, it was gonna change in a millisecond for him without him realizing what happened. And he was an original brother too, so obviously I'm not gonna try to, you know, put him in that situation. So I was just like, yo, pardon me, brother. You know, he still mouthed off and walked off and I said, okay, cool. It makes you a lot uh, more humble to know that you're carrying because in the back of your head, you realize. Well, it should, it should. I mean, because not everybody has that kind of emotional intelligence. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, well, right. well, 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 well right. you know, see you, you seem to have more of a military and you and you shaped and molded your, your military, your, your, your emotional intelligence. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, in, in New York, Without that training, because there's a training, because you like you let, you have training. Whereas I see that uh, brothers in New York or, or those places that they don't allow guns, they don't have that kind of emotional mm -hmm. training. So there's there, there's an emotional training that needs to be taken into account as well. Yeah. Somebody would just grab it, like you know, somebody mouthing off, but like, oh yeah, well I got something right here for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And a, and a lot of it, like we were saying, coming here, you know. I teach my sons, you know, a lot of um, signs of aggressions is usually a sign of weakness. So there's a lot of dudes who are too intimidated that if they really are involved in a conflict where it's that detrimental and they feel like I got to do something to somebody, they're too intimidated or too weak to handle it with their hands. So in their mindset, they're walking around with a guard you and they're like, you know what, let me just pull out and shoot. Yeah, you know I mean, because I don't want to get my ass whipped. Not knowing that you're trying to save yourself from my ass whipped, there's something you can come back from. I've had my ass whipped, and it ain't the end of the life or the end of the world for that. You can come back from that. But if you return a brother, he's dead, you locked up for the rest of your life, and it was all because in a split second you couldn't control your emotions. Yeah, you know I mean, so you're right. You know, there are people that they, they're, for lack of a better term, emotionally loose. You know what I mean? And they're walking around with firearms. And that's why when I engaged, two weeks ago, my, my wife and I were driving and we're going out. And um, I cut some dude off. I wasn't even paying attention. Him and his girl rolls up. And she's driving and he's on my side, roll up on my side. He's just going off doing tricks. So I just kind of look at him. And the old me, they know they've seen it. The old me is, you know, I, I used to engage people quickly. You know what I mean? And, but I still feel it in me. I just don't do anything, you know what I mean? So I'm just looking at him, and he's just going off. So I look, keep my head forward, and I just like, you know what, we're gonna drive. If this dude drives behind me and I get out, it's a wrap. I just told my wife, I was like, just, you stay down if he follows behind us, because at that point, he's now followed behind me. I'm justified in what I do, right. um, whether I have to put my hands on him or not. But the fact is, I could have engaged him verbally and said, yeah, motherfucker, what? What, what, what? And next thing you know, we ended up in a heated battle or whatever, and my whole night is ruined, you know what I mean? Or it could be a case where you might bump somebody and, you know, the dude mouthing off and you just be like, brother, calm down, like, I apologize. I didn't, you may have took it the wrong way. I wasn't trying to bump you. I have, you know, no intentions of doing it. I'm trying to enjoy my night. And I've seen, I've done it before, and brother's like, ah, oh, my bad, my bad too, man. And you know, they squash it. Right, right. And we, we walk our separate ways, but you can't do that when you flip out and you just start letting off on the dude, you know what I mean? And, Sometimes you have to have that restraint. You know what I mean, if you 
get trained properly, you're right. You know, you'll have that restraint. Uh, it should humble you. It doesn't always. It's just like martial arts. You learn how to snap somebody's neck. You should be a lot, you know, more right. humble right, right, than right, right. the average dude. You know what I mean? But for everybody, it's not like this. Usually, with martial arts, that training comes along with it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it comes along with it. But with this you know, training of, of using firearms, that doesn't necessarily come with it. That's and true. That's true. So, and, and, and a lot of it, I mean, personally, um, when I first met my martial art teacher, now I call him my martial art father, um, my, my emotions were pretty loose. And he helped in a lot of ways, you know, calming me down and so forth. So. If Mega did this, 